Well, my name is Richard Warren, and I'm a professor of plastic surgery at the University of British Columbia, which is in Canada. And uh, I'm an aesthetic surgeon primarily, although I've been involved in the teaching and education of plastic surgeons for many years. Well, aesthetic plastic surgery has seen huge advances in the last 20 years. Uh, some of the things that the public knows about, such as uh, you know, liposuction and Botox injection, all these things have, uh, didn't exist 20 years ago. There's been a lot of changes, but I would say globally, looking at it from the big picture, uh, there's been scientific changes. It's gone from a field where people just did things because they tried them and they seemed to work to having a scientific basis. There's research going on trying to find the best ways to do things. That's been a uh, big change. And then the other thing is the acceptance of the public, really. People have uh, come to accept it as part of life. It's a way to improve the quality of their life, like a lot of other things that we do. And mainstream public acceptance has changed it a lot. I became a, a volume editor in this great project uh, uh, by way of Peter Nelligan asking me if I would do it. Uh, Peter is sort of the CEO of this project and uh, there are six of us who are editors each uh, of a different book and I have a, a significant aesthetic background. Peter knew that and knew me personally through uh, various means and so it was just a matter of his talking to somebody that uh, he knew uh, uh, would be involved in this and had uh, a lot of contacts in the field. Um, part of the job of a volume editor is to get good people to write for you and so part of my job was to find uh, writers and, and uh, chapter authors who would do a good job and uh, I think we've been able to do that. Well, the things that are new are, are numerous, really. For one thing, this is a, a modern textbook. It's gone from black and white drawings to color diagrams with video uh, attached to almost everything. Uh, it's a different looking book, and I think it's really a, a modern textbook. Um, for one thing, aesthetics in the old editions, uh, aesthetic topics were scattered throughout the volumes, and this has been an attempt to collect all the aesthetic volumes into one text, and it's been very neatly packaged that way. That's, that's a big change. Uh, the second change is looking at the whole field of aesthetics and saying to ourselves, are all the fields covered? And they really weren't before, and they are now. Well, uh, why do we do the things that we do in our spare time? I suppose it's out of interest, really. I, I, I care a lot about aesthetic surgery. I care about teaching it to others. And I, I care about the process uh, of making it better. So by means of this textbook, I, I consider this textbook really to be the premier educational text in plastic surgery. It's an honor to be part of it. And I thought, what a chance to sort of give something back to my profession. It certainly has been a labor of love. It didn't happen overnight, uh, but it's been a, a, a really great thing to be part of. I'd like to talk a little bit about some of the things that I'm proud of in this new edition in the aesthetic volume. Um, as I said, the area was not really fully covered, and it is now, and we've got some unique things in there. There are some non-surgical things. There's a chapter on uh, non-surgical techniques from resurfacing to fillers and that type of thing. Uh, we've got a really expanded section on facial aging with a very good assessment of how the face ages, uh, various ways of doing it. Um, there's a bit of a culture of personality in plastic surgery and in the facelift section for example we've got individual world experts saying exactly how they would do it and that follows after a text that covers just the basic principles rather than repeating this over and over and we move on to another field that's grown a lot in the last decade and that is body contouring with uh, lower body lifts post bariatric surgery and that type of thing buttock augmentation is a new topic and uh, another thing that has never been in uh, one of these books before, and very few, is uh, Asian facial surgery. We have a whole chapter on that because that's a, a growing field worldwide. Um, the author selection, I think, has been wonderful. We've got some of the best people in the world, and I think it's an international all-star team uh, that's been assembled. And every one of these people has been asked to put their egos aside and write a factual chapter on the state of affairs in their field with a little bit of how they do things too.